こう人生にせんたん、優勝でさじちばれしゃさん、はこうです。Um, so, also when we receive the refuge vow, we are introduced to the qualities of the three jewels, and we are given a general explanation first about the nature of the Buddha Dhamma and Sangha. We say that the Buddha,、um, the Buddha, or the Buddhas are infinite. There are countless Buddhas of the three times, and then also the Dharma is infinite. There are the eighty-four thousand heaps of Dharma teachings. And then each of these again has a division of 84,000. So if one were to pile up all the Dharma teachings, they would be as high as a Mount Meru,、um, infinite. And then also, if we think about the Sangha, there is infinite Sangha of the three times.、Mm. Those who have entered the paths of the Pratimoksha, Bodhisattva, and Vajrayana vehicles. So this is what we are introduced to when we are taking the refuge vow. But then, in actuality, we must understand the spiritual master from whom we receive the refuge vow to be the embodiment of all of them, the embodiment of the three jewels. So, no matter how many Buddhas there may be in the three times, this、um, Buddha mind is not separate from the mind of the Guru. As Lord Chikun Sungyun had said, ultimately their minds are indistinguishable. And this mind is the Dharma Kaya. It is the union of emptiness and compassion. So that mind of the Guru, that is the union of emptiness and compassion, if it continuously abides, that is the mind of the Buddha, and that is the potential that we all possess, and that is called the Buddha nature. The very basis of the mind is the Buddha himself. And the actualization of that mind, the、um, the single unpointed mind abiding within the union of emptiness and compassion, that is the mind of the guru, the spiritual master, and that is the mind of the Buddha. So in this way, we must understand the nature of the guru. We must understand that all the Buddhas of the three times are contained within. The mind of the spiritual master. The spiritual master's mind is the Buddha. When we are receiving the refuge vow, we can gain understanding of the three jewels. We know that the three jewels are infinite. The three jewels are infinite because they include 过去、现在、以未来三世的诸佛，法宝为什么无限呢？因为法宝啊、呃，我们知道佛法有八万四千种法门，每一种法门细分又可以再分成八万四千法门，这样子算起来，法门之多就犹如须弥山之高一般，所以说是无限的。那生宝为什么说是无限呢？它不但是属于三世的呃这个生。除此之外，它也涵盖了不管你所修的是小圣、大圣或金刚圣等等的这些僧众，由此之故，它也是无限的。所以，我们应该要了解到，我们的精神导师，也就是我们自己的上师呢，其实是具足佛法身三宝于一身的。上师的心就是佛心，两者是不分的。那么，我们知道法身呢，是具足。空性跟慈悲两种，啊、呃，合合而为一的。那么，如果我们能够持续的安住在这种呃空性跟悲心合而为一的状态之下，这其实就是在彰显我们自己的佛性。那这个也就是佛陀之心，诸佛之心。所以我们能够真正了解到这一点的时候，我们就能够证到空性跟慈悲合而为一的这种境界。也能够了解到上师的心跟佛陀的心是无二无别的。对了，同志上去，咋办？送的刚去，去的不莫急，这些东，这是长没保养呢，这些还是便宜的，这个还是高的，这个两百一十，东南的东万里，看这个去趟去，一万大了，你包着起码买着呗。明白
ये मातों के पार के कुछ लोग जुगे सवार के पास हाँ कोको लो तो पता लो ये ना दिन बाद नहीं सो साजी कल कल जो चीज़ मो पोते जाता ला योरी थे ये ना छोटे ने जैसे लाने सब दिन में ना बोला माधुरी कितना मिल गया भाई तेजी ना ये ना छोटे दिन दिन बाद नहीं दिन बाद नहीं कोई जो लो दिन बाद नहीं करेगी कुछ लोग जुगे सवार में बाजी तो दम तो बाज ते तो वो चीज़ तो कुछ लोग जुम्बे लाओ में तो वो ले जुम्बे वो तो चीज़ ना ओ ते सोचे वो तो चीज़ गिर जी नीचे छोटा ना वो तो चीज़ ही हो रही तो कुछ लोग जुम्बे लाओ में बात तो ना तो तो वो कुछ लोग जुम्बे लाओ में बात वो शिष्य ना चीज़ जी दुनिया तारीं चीज़ तो कुछ हो रही मांग बात दुनिया जो प so the Guru's, um, the Guru's mind is the actual Buddha and the Guru's speech is the Dharma and the Dharma is infinite, consisting of 84,000 Dharma teachings. And to understand the Guru's speech to be the Dharma, what is the benefit of that and what is the um, result of understanding that? The result is that we gain an understanding, a realization of the two truths, the conventional and ultimate truth. Ultimately, Everything is emptiness. Samsara and Nirvana appear just like an illusion. And everything that appears and exists lacks inherent true existence from its own side. But until that is realized, we also must understand the conventional truth, the trustworthiness of karma cause and effect. And the Guru's words are a method to realize that. So the entire um, speech of the Buddha, the, the words of the Buddha that are compiled in more than a hundred volumes, come down to the 37 Bodhisattva practices, abbreviated. And that even more abbreviated comes down to the teachings of the two truths. The conventional truth, that is the trustworthiness of karma cause and effect, and the ultimate truth, emptiness. In order to realize the ultimate truth, we are first introduced to the conventional truth. We are introduced to the workings of karma, cause and effect. And who is the one introducing us to that? It is our spiritual master. First, the spiritual master introduces you to the trustworthiness of karma. And once that is recognized, you will begin to accept the suffering you are experiencing in this lifetime and will be able to abandon further causes of suffering in the future. So the entire speech of the Guru contains the 84,000 aggregates of Dharma teachings, the root of all the Buddha's teachings. So you can make up your mind and decide that the words of the Guru contain the entirety of the words of the Buddha.我们刚刚讲到上师的心就等同佛陀的心它从世俗地上来讲能够了解因果不灭因果律的这个道理进而一步能够了解到空性万法本空的这个道理 
所以呢，丧尸的言教呢，就等同于。